So I'm going to explain how this guy mysteriously created a piece of chocolate by rearranging the pieces. Here's my mock chocolate bar. I've made this out of graph paper and it is a six by four, just like it was in the video. And you'll notice that each of the squares of my chocolate bar are four by four squares, which means they have area of 16. And there are four in each row, which means each row has an area of 64. Now I made the same cuts that he made from here to here, from here to here, and here to here. And I will do the same procedure that he did. He moved it over here. Scooted that down. Slid this up here. And now I have a chocolate bar with a mysterious extra piece. And everything seems normal until you stop to realize the area of this row that you just slid is no longer a four by four like everything else is. It's now a four by three, which means each of these squares has an area of 12, meaning the whole row, since there's four squares there, or rectangles now, has an area of 48, whereas the other rows have area of 64. Difference between 48 and 64 is 16, and here is the 16 that you just took out of this row. When you only do it once, it's not really noticeable, but if you do it two times, you do it once, you don't really notice the difference in that diagonal row, but if you do it again, you magically create two pieces You begin to notice that row is half as big as all the other rows. And that is where the mysterious piece came from.